in Iceland, scientists are developing a new way to cut carbon emissions and improve the air quality by turning toxic air into solid rock. Zhang He explains the process. Storing carbon dioxide or CO2 underground so it can't leak out is successfully being done. This site is located very close to a geothermal power plant just behind me. It provides very good condition for this project. It has water, it has CO2, and most importantly, it has basaltic rocks. Iceland scientists dissolve CO2 in water and then pump it into injection wells in basaltic rocks. In less than a year since they started the process, more than 80% of the CO2 injected has transformed into solid stone. Iceland is, in general is, is a good place to inject CO2 when, you are, when your main objective is to, is to mineralize the CO2, turn it into stone, because Iceland is pretty much just basalt and uh, it's, the, it's the chemical composition of the basalt that is very beneficial for mineral storage of CO2. Iceland electricity and heat are virtually CO2-free because of its abundant geothermal resources. However, the Reykjavik power plant still produces some CO2 and another toxic emission, hydrogen sulfide, OH2I. Close to each of these geothermal power plants, there are air quality monitoring stations for both H2S, quite often SO2. So this is so that you are extracting natural resources or, or green energy as you want, but still on the opposite side, you are still putting something in the air. However, using the ejection method, the carbon released is returned back to where it was extracted. We have uh, water containing dissolved CO2 and H2S coming from the power plant. And we have about 40 kilos per second of this mixture going into the well. Then we co-inject separated water also coming from the power plant through this pipe here and it all goes down into the well. The project's implications for the fight against global warming may be considerable as basaltic bedrock is vitally found on the planet. If scaled up, researchers believe it could become an important new weapon in the fight against climate change. Zhang He, CCTV, Rackwick, Iceland.